Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. I've got a viewer letter today that I'm going to answer. I kind of covered this in another video, but it was from a different standpoint. Uh, so we're going to cover it today and talk about mechanical front wheel drive, MFWD. So let's get to the letter. Letter comes from James, and James says, Hi Mike, here's my question. Is there anything wrong with leaving my tractor in four wheel drive all the time? I've had people say it results in more wear and tear, but I get the feeling that's just a guess. Well, James, it's not really just a guess. It does result in more wear and tear. And let's cover why first. On your tractor, your front wheels are smaller than your back wheels, of course. If they were the same size and you never turned much, you might be able to leave that tractor in four-wheel drive all the time and not have very much wear and tear on your drive line or your tires. But because you've got the little tires on the front and the big tires on the back, what has to happen is those front tires have got to run just a little bit faster than the back tires. And if they didn't, they'd be trying to slow down the back tires and you'd get a lot of tire wear and a lot of drive line wear and it wouldn't be good. So understand, and this is important, that if you ever change tires on a tractor, you've got to go back with the same size because whatever size the manufacturer put on there, it was put on there that the same size would go back on there in order that the front tires continue pulling the back tires. So you're actually pulling the front tires all the time. You're putting stress on the drive line all the time when you're engaged in front wheel assist or mechanical front wheel drive on a tractor. So how much should you be worried about that? Well, as far as the drive line is concerned, I wouldn't be too worried about it. I've watched uh, over my 30 year career in the tractor business, very few front wheel assist tractors get torn apart because the mechanical part went out. What does get worn pretty excessively when you're using mechanical front wheel drive all the time are the tires. And that accelerates some other issues. So if you're running in front wheel assist all the time and you're doing a lot of turning, a lot of loader work, a lot of different work that we'll talk about in just a second, you're not only putting pressure on your drive line, which I'm not concerned about, but I am concerned about the tire wear. And what happens with the tire wear as those front tires wear, and bear in mind the front tires are already at a disadvantage in how quickly they wear because they're shorter they're going around more times than the back tires are. So you're actually going to get not quite double the wear on the front tires as you are on the back tires just in normal operation because they're spinning around more times. When you put your tractor in mechanical front wheel drive, you're accelerating that problem. So your tires are going to wear and as your tires wear, those front tires get just a little bit lower the tread wears off of them and they're not as tall as they were originally. Now does that make them run faster? I think it does, but it, it makes them run faster than they're supposed to. So as you're running, you're wearing your tires and if you leave your tractor in front wheel drive all the time, I think you're going to be replacing your front tires a lot and tires are expensive right now. So I'm going to tell you four times that I would take your tractor out of uh, mechanical front wheel drive when you're using it and four times I would definitely be in front wheel drive. And that's a video I did before, when do I engage front wheel drive? This video is actually when do I disengage four wheel drive, but we all end up at the same place. So the four times when I take my tractor out of front wheel drive is number one, if I'm on pavement. The guy before me that owned this place put a long asphalt driveway in, and anytime I'm on that asphalt driveway, I'm taking it out of front wheel assist. Because you're gonna wear faster on pavement or concrete or a hard surface than you are on grass or in a field situation. That's the number one time I'm taking it out. Number two time I'm taking it out is any time I'm making a sharp turn. Because when you're making a sharp turn, of course, the tire on the outside and the tire on the front side are, are trying to run faster. Now most tractors have some kind of a differential that releases one tire, but as you're going into the turn, uh, you're, you're probably going to run one a little faster than the other and cause a little bit of wear. So anytime I'm trying to make a tight turn, I'm out of front wheel assist uh, so I can turn. The third time that I don't use front wheel assist, anytime I'm going across my yard, because again, you're always running faster with your front tires than your back tires, and so something's got to give. 
Uh, my ground is hard enough that I generally don't do any damage any time I run across it, but why risk it if you don't need it? If you drive across your yard and you've got one of those manicured yards, definitely take it out of mechanical front wheel drive. And finally, the last time I take my tractor out of front wheel drive, and I don't know if this is right or not, but if I'm going up and down hills, it's a different story, but if I'm on a side hill and there's a possibility I'm gonna turn up the hill, I generally will take my tractor out of front wheel drive. I've always felt that front wheel drive can get you in a little bit of problem on a side hill because if you're not in front wheel drive, as you turn, the weight of the tractor will make you try to slide down. If you're in front wheel drive, that thing is gonna to continue to push you. And if that other wheel comes off the ground, I'm afraid you could have a rollover situation. So I don't know if that's right or not. Put in the comments down below if you disagree with me. But I always, on a side hill, try not to be in uh, mechanical front wheel drive. Now the times I'm in front wheel drive almost always are any time I'm using my front end loader. And you'll have to be because if you're not in front wheel drive, you'll probably get stuck. Uh, number two, any time I'm working on snow or ice, and I don't like being on ice on a tractor. If I've got ice out there, I've, it doesn't take much of a slope, especially on a side hill, and it doesn't take much of a side hill with R4 tires. Because most R4 tires are a pretty straight lug. They're designed for a skid loader. And if you get on a side hill, it's like skis, and off you'll go. We had a pretty big ice storm a few years ago, and there were bulldozers, because they, they've got the same situation. They're almost on skis. A great traction when it's not ice, but if there's a thick skiff of ice on the ground, and they're on top of it, uh, they'll head on down that hill on a side hill. So uh, that uh, uh, I always want to be in front wheel assist on any kind of snow or ice, but I usually stay off my tractor when there's ice. Uh, the third time I want to be in the front wheel assist is when I'm going up and down hills. And especially if I'm going down a hill with a weight in the front loader bucket. I have gotten in trouble before uh, with not being in front wheel assist going down a hill. And I was carrying, and I was just dumb, dumb thing, and, and dumb things happen quickly. I was carrying a big load, and it was a log, heavy log, and I, I should have known better, but I'm starting down this hill, and it's a pretty steep, short hill, and uh, I did not have my tractor in front wheel assist. And so as I was going down, the weight of the log, and I've recreated it here with a barrel, lifted the rear wheels of the tractor off the ground, and of course that's where your brakes are. And so off I went, everything freewheeling. And luckily, the, the only about a maybe a 30-foot hill, I, I just went to the bottom out of control, and that's where it stopped. But uh, anytime you're going up and down hills, definitely be in front wheel assist. And finally, and this is sort of obvious, if you're using a ground engaging tool like a plow or a disc or anything like that, you definitely want to be in front wheel assist uh, to get the best traction and, uh, and pull that implement and use the, the least fuel. Kind of summarize, James, to answer your question, I would definitely recommend against leaving your tractor in mechanical front wheel drive all the time. You're going to wear your drive line a little bit, which I'm not too worried about, but definitely you're going to wear your tires. And if you've got a nice lawn, uh, you could be tearing up your turf too. So, no, don't, don't leave it in front wheel assist all the time. Now, there was a tractor that was built at one time, a small tractor, that was kind of unique. It was years ahead of its time, probably, where you could leave it in front wheel assist all the time. And I'm going to take you in my next video down memory lane to talk about Sensatrack and why that was a nice feature because you never had to worry about whether to engage or disengage front wheel assist but it had a couple of design flaws that really hampered it from being widely accepted in the market. And we'll talk about that in my next video. I appreciate you watching my videos. I'd be honored if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps me out a bunch. And all you gotta do is click the mic face icon and check the bell so you get a notification when I post future videos. Here's a link to my website and the Tractor Fun Store with cool things for sale for the tractor owner. And I've added a few new things there that help support my channel and here's another couple of videos you might want to watch. Thanks for watching.